Hello, this is Mark with Two Dog RC. Just do a quick unboxing of the new DI DYS XDR220 ARF. First, you get it in this nice box. Open up the box, you've got a case. This is a nice fabric case with a zipper, handle, nice little carrying case. And you open it up, and there's your ship strapped in there. And you got a top pocket up here. So in your top pocket, we'll do that first because that'll be easier. You've got some lock nuts for your motors, a tool for your motors, a battery strap, looks like some Velcro, and extra camera mounts. Then you've got some red props, two bags of those. They're 5040s, I believe, tri blades. There's some blue ones. Probably some kind of unbreakable material. Some winter. They are 5040s. So blue and red. Then you've got looks this is would be your battery tape would go underneath. You get a little uh, Allen tool for the screws. You get two instruction seats. Here's a general how to set it up on clean flight manual. We also have a video on this coming shortly. And here, this one too, there'll be more information on this. This is how you hook up your video transmitter to your receiver so that you can change the frequencies via your transmitter. And so that's what's in the little pouch. Put those aside. Okay, so here's your ship. You've got three colored um, tops and on the top, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, um, it's got a number. It's, this is a 30 degree camera mount. This one's a 40 degree. And the red one here is also 30 degrees. We will have these additional lids in stock. They just didn't have them available when we ordered. So you've got that and you've got your antenna. As you can see, it all straps in real nice. There's your ship. Very strong. I mean, it's very rigid. I mean, I've felt a lot of ships, and this is definitely some strong carbon fiber. Very stiff. You can see it's got the camera. There's a little lens cover on it. It's, it's supposed to be similar to an HS1177, but I did notice it didn't have the programming cable on it. Um, have to ask them about that. You got four SE2205. 2300 race edition motors the bottom it's kind of cool here's the bottom you've got Bio the DYS XA XS 20 amp three to four lipos uh, four of those and here's your battery connector battery strap here's something cool here's your video transmitter it's also got your cheat sheet there your frequencies uh, selector button right here the antenna comes out and goes into this piece right here. Now this is directly connected to your flight controller. Can, I'll show you a picture of that here in a bit. So to get the look under the hood there, this is held in by four screws. I've taken them out for just ease here in this video. The hood, there's the plastic's got a metal insert. So you just undo your screw and your plastic top comes off. Now I was a little nervous on these plastic tops but they're not flimsy. I mean, it's pretty thick plastic. It's, I mean, I'm sure they'll break eventually, but it, it's not going to break the first time you crash, like some other, you know, little cheap canopies that you see in some, like the toy quads. Here's your camera mount. Just this metal bracket kind of squishes the camera in there. Um, it's, it's very sturdy. It's very solid. And then your camera wires that come out. Again, there's your 30 degree camera. This slit goes all the way through, so I think you could mount like a go. Something flat, a flat camera on the top there. I'm just going to plug this just so I can show you guys this a little bit better. Okay. Alright. So here's our board. Now this is a combined PDB, OSD, and F3 uh, flight controller. I believe it's the SP Racing board with the 64. 50 gyro, I think. I'll, I'll verify that in the notes below. Uh, this one's already wired for S-Bus. 
right here. You can easily take that off if you need to. Uh, PPM is right here, but you can also do PWM if you need all the channels. You've got your horn. You've got your the these three LED or pins are for your LED pinouts, uh, five volts, and I think it's a two amp five volt regulator. Then you've got your motors and speed controllers coming in here, the sides, power and signal and stuff. There's your USB in the back, and on your canopy does have a little notch in the back so you can reach your USB when it's on. The camera plugs in here, video transmitter plugs in here, and it's got the plugs like this, but also the pinouts. So if you break these, you still have a way to connect, or if you get a camera video transmitter it doesn't have this plug, you can still pin it in to there, and, and it's well labeled of what goes where. So there's also, let's see, there was a BEC out somewhere back here too. Um, so basically it's just an F3 um, board, pretty standard on the board wise, but it does have the built in on-screen display. There's your buzzer, you're not gonna break that. And what you can do, this wire, this goes into your receiver, okay? So this goes into your receiver and then in the instructions it tells you, and I'll make a video on this because I've never done it before, but you just kind of remap some things and then even using PPM or SBUS and you'll be able to switch your video frequency. We'll make a video for that up here shortly, but that's basically the unboxing of this. Um, great little kit. Uh, we got them on the website, I think for $289. And that's everything that you see here. So, I mean, all you need is a receiver and a battery. And I'd recommend a 4S 1500, at least 70C or an HB battery for this ship. That would be the best. Um, I'm sure these motors pull a lot, just like the red bottoms. They're, they're in that same class. The other thing on these motors, um, they've got the screw in the bottom. So it's really easy to take them apart and clean bearings and stuff like that, as opposed to the set screws. Um, again, this is solid. You can visit 2dogrc.com and we'll get them shipped right out to you.